So the bilge is painted, two back, all done. Now we can fit the sole framing and then put a temporary floor down and paint with our white hull down to the edge of the bilge. First we've got to get the, all the framing glued and screwed in. Um, and then we can get an idea of heights, set a laser and uh, see where we want to paint to. Solid. The objective of the sole framing here was to be able to remove it so we could get a tank in and out, but there's not much space under there and I don't know if we're actually going to put a tank in there under the boards here. Um, I mean, you get a little tank, but anyway, I didn't glue the transverse ones in because then we can always remove it and uh, put something in there if we want to, or lead or who knows. We still have to drill keel bolt holes and stuff like that, so we need it fully accessible um, the whole time. But at least we've got a flat platform now, again, that we can stand on <laughs> to make life easier. Uh, yeah, there's a few more to go. I've got to do the front section here, and I'll show you that. But it's interesting contrast, the white and the blue. I think it looks nice. temporary sole to take a bit of support for us try and hit it a little bit accurately so we don't lose too many tools into the bilge because that happens a lot um, 
and it's very frustrating. Start by doing that, I've got some ply, some just rubbish 7mm race ply, um, and I'll just see if I can fit that nicely, and then uh, we'll have somewhere to stand. That was some pretty high-tech spiling there. Bit of pattern making on the go. But we've got a floor now, sole, so now uh, we can work around. Set a laser and shoot a laser around the line to work out where we want the paint to go to. Um, and then, yeah. Trying to fit another bulkhead. We have one made up for the bed, for the aft section of our bunk, but I'm wondering if I can push it forward to create more living room in the saloon here. So I'm just knocking out to have a look to see if it's going to work. Um, don't know. Might be a bit funny. We'll see how we go. Making the bed, I don't know, might be a little bit more tricky, but. Do I have to go through that bulkhead? Or just be a little cubby hole, kind of like that. Mm. But now you've got this massive area. It's a huge improvement for a saloon. I'm not sure if it's... A huge improvement for the bed. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Totally. Yeah, I'm on the same page. So it's one of those things, again, are you going to go for comfort in your lounge area or are you going to go for comfort in your bed? Mm. I think it's probably worth it for the extra space in the lounge. Hmm, because I, I just imagine, well, what have we got now? Then you tell us. We've got a bank and another bed, which is also handy. That is very handy. So then we've got one, two, three, five, five, six. Five, six. We can actually sit the people there. I mean, you would make the galley too small, but I don't think so. Like, when I think about preparing mood, you must need a cutting board or somewhere to put pots of pans and a stove. No, I reckon a galley's fine. The bigger your galley, the more shit accumulates in it and the more your stuff rolls around. And... <laughs> well, we probably just, because we still had such an open slate, we just thought, yeah, seek a bed here. Mm. Just how we'll, like when we come in, I don't think it'll be that bad because I think the seat comes out like, you know, 400 or something by the time you put a back press there. Yeah. So you sort of like just throw yourself in and then you come in and then you've got enough spaces there for people. Because that's why we had it in the first place to begin with the lounge. Good girl. So clever. So clever. Hey, 
Hey, Oaks, do you want to come up here, baby? That a tape. That's what they call a precision cut. The upside down, Johnny. That's all um, Probably going to have a hell of a time doing this. You might have to drop your end down. I think you have to slide your end in. to go here to take the edge of the bed then we'll somehow have to transition into everything. We'll get to that when we get to it. Yeah. Um, the level, it fell on my head earlier. I'll put it somewhere again. I'll put it up there ready for it. Just check this edge. Is this then? What's the lens type? Hopefully, one point eight, and more would be better. That's two. Ten meters. Yeah, two point eight. So, in theory, if we moved a bulkhead from where it was here. From this deck being done, we create more saloon space and an extra bunk. Yeah. But it means that our feet have to go yeah. in a hole. Yeah. But what's one more friend, you know? Another friend's nicer than you. Yeah. I mean, this, this is still going to be alright because you're going to have quite a bit of space here.
so an explanation of what I've been doing down here. <clears throat> Basically, we're setting up the bunk, um, getting ready for our well, our bunk, the double double berth. Um, I've laid out a pretty heavy duty bottom in it because we're hoping to put a tank, a water tank down in there. So I need that quite strong to take the weight. I think it'll be about 250 litres maybe at a squeeze. I haven't done the calculations yet, but I'll, um, I'll do that and work out exactly how much we can fit. The more the better, obviously. Um, so you probably saw that laid out a pretty heavy duty framing down there so that it can take the weight and I dropped a couple of beams down to the floor timbers as well so that takes more load down it'll be fastened also to the mast step some way in there to take more load um, the next thing to do is to build my next level up so in the past I've made the mistake of building at the top and working down but I've learned from my mistakes it's better to start at the bottom and work up so I've got the first bit in it's nice and solid now I'm going to set up where we want our drawers so probably the top of the tank where the top of the tank will go I'll shoot a laser along that um, set up more framework for that and then fix that all together then we know how big our tank is and then move up again to the actual bunk cut a hole in this bulkhead here for our feet to go through right now it's 1.7 long we need a you know another 300 mil or so for our tootsies um yeah i reckon i want to cut a hole in the bulkhead but i really need to wait that's something you shouldn't rush um, i'll work my way up get the drawers in first Most of the framing is done with uh, lap joints on the drop saw. Nice and simple, really quick and easy to do um, and strong. We're almost there.
then I'm mocking these out to go down, half lapping them in, notching them in. So then I can then build vertical uprights, frame this front up, drop some down here and have drawer sliders. So then we can have two drawers here and here. It will come out quite a way, nice and deep. And then this spot here, because the mast, I've actually drawn, I locked it out the actual shape of the mast. And they drilled a hole for the centre and drilled a hole in the step down. So the mast will come down to here. This is the designer's size of mast, maybe bigger, who knows. So then that mast is sort of here, so we'll just get a drawer in here, and then this spot will be blanked off and it will be another storage area. Slightly easier to access than up there. Cut a hole in this bulkhead, so now that we can push out to, I don't know, 2 metres, 2.1. Depends how long we want our bunk. Um, we'll see when we get to that side of the world, but for now I'm trying to finish this side. Um, yeah, so I'll get these down and maybe make some drawers and mock that out. Plywood drawers with a nice face on them of some kind. I have to get a bit of wood in here. I've got to brew this. Make that pretty. Yeah. <laughs> 